it's not a job it's a way of life you've got to love it to do it and you've got to take the rough with the smooth these guys have fished these grounds for 30 years and it just so happens that Westerman's Rough Wind Farm was going to be built on best lobster fishing grounds in Europe. These guys thought they were going to lose the businesses over it. They were terrified because it was new to them. We've got a lot of families that have third generation fishermen here. I've been fishing since I was 16. This isn't the type of job where you're waiting for Friday. We were quite a young business. Nobody knew how a wind farm interacts with your fishing. So HFIG was formed to bring the voices of fishermen to have one voice to speak for the industry. The research first started due to the fishermen having concerns about the development of the offshore wind farm in one of the main lobster fisheries. The fishery invested in their own research vessel, in collaboration with Orsted, developed a monitoring programme. We've done subsequent surveys for the last six years. During surveys, we'll enter the wind farm, we'll haul a fleet of lobster pots. We're roughly 500 metres from any turbine. Inside the wind farm, especially if we're up close to one of the turbines, it's quite impressive. And it's very easy to navigate through. We introduced our first buried lobsters, egg-bearing hens. Within three days, we had our first stage one larvae released into the tanks. Mother Nature is the best hatchery out there. You cannot do research on lobster larvae out in the open ocean because their whole job is to hide from predators. So by bringing them into the laboratory, we can control various environmental parameters, do the study that we're interested in, and at completion of that study, we can then release them. For us to go from a theoretical design on paper to a system that is now operational and giving us stage five lobster has been an incredible success story we wouldn't have been able to do if it wasn't from the help from Orsted. Initially, the fishing industry did not want this wind farm built, thought it was going to destroy their prime lobster grounds. Our results have shown that it actually hasn't had an overall effect and we are seeing consistent catch rates throughout the entire seven year period. There's a quote. For every one fisherman offshore, then there's another six jobs on land. Now we're in a place where we're successfully coexisting with the fishing industry. A lot of the fishing industry are suggesting to other offshore wind developers that they do the same thing as what Orsted are doing. If that isn't a good thing, then I don't know what is. It's green energy, it's coming. You've got to work alongside it. It's going to happen no matter what. It has worked, and it's worked well. I feel that minds have been changed from these relationships that were built with Allstead. And I feel like we've had a big part to play in that. These young lads that's coming through, they're the future of the job. Our fishery can keep flourishing. It's only a good thing.